Okay guys, now we are going to the next video which is cleaning the 50AE Titanium Desert Eagle. And I just took this out today and fired it. So basically, first you make it simple, make sure it's empty, which it is. Um, go ahead and take down the barrel, like this. You have to half click it. Take down the barrel. Barrel comes off. Slide off in the frame. Take that out. Okay. okay, so we have, see, it breaks down to basic components like the other one. Get out our hoppies again. Pretty much a repeat of what I just did. My rags and stuff. Very good. Saturate a little. Go ahead. Same thing along the slides. I use a toothbrush. You want to do the bolt as much as you can. Side rails. Uh, the silver one, I mean the gold one's a little bit more. You want to make sure it's well clean, but because the wear shows up a little bit more along the rails because the finish can rub off. But you want to get deep in there. Get that bolt real good in here. You want to get that, let that soak for a little. Back to that barrel. I get in here. That brush real good. Should get pretty good in there. Toothbrush is the best thing. Really. Like I say, I fired this today and it, it fired like a champ. Fired real good. And I do what I do, you know, I do everywhere up in here. Up in here again, you can actually take that tool and you can get up in here. That's what that's meant for. This tool. It's meant for this. You get in there and get the build up in there. Blast a little oil. What do you think get in there? Okay. I have to get some more oil. Get in there. A little rim oil. Get in there. Your rig, put that pick back down on your rig. Put it down real good. Take a blast right in the barrel. And get your cleaning rod, which this already has a wipe on it. There, out in, out in. You get all it up to a light and look through it. That's pretty much clean. Okay, there. Get in there. The crevices. If you want to stay dirty in there, I guess you can. Nice nice of these. It's a little more critical you get in here because, um, these desert eagles in here, you don't want any dirt in here. You know, because it makes the plating look kind of crappy. Same thing on the other ones, but... Let me make sure it's nice and clean in there. Good. Clean it up pretty good. Get rim oil blasted in there. Pretty much. That barrel looks pretty clean. Uh, if you had like a, a Q tip, you could get down in there, but I just take that. I just turn it in there like that. Turn in there if you could get in there as best you can. You really don't get that dirty in there, but one shot with that. Cleans anything up with some dirty. You know, there's also get in here. That's what rim oil again. Got the barrel with rim oil. Lay it there. You pretty much have everything already gone over this. And you can keep your little wipe in there. Right down the rails. Make sure it's nice and clean. Get in there, get in there. Gotta get back up here with uh, something abrasive. Any kind of little brass. 
And this you don't want it too, too hard because you really want it not to scratch. But I did notice it comes off a lot easier. See there? Look how easy that comes off. Because this is coated, it's not porous. So I do notice the carbon comes off. Look how easy it comes off. It comes off a lot easier from the coated surfaces. There's a little on there, but not that much. That's more of a scratch than from the piston. Not really dirt. Get in there, in there, in there. Best you can do. Blast it with a little barrel oil. You blast this like you clean the barrel. See how it cleans it? You blast it nice and hard. Actually cleans it in there. It acts as a lubricant too. Okay, lay it down. Get here. Blast it there, inside there. Blast it everywhere. Get your toothbrush. You're going to have this area here. It's going to be a little. Right here is going to be your mouth's crap. So if you get in there, clean that. You know, need some, probably rub a little in there. Put it clean up pretty fast. And once again, excuse the dogs barking. You know, barking at the rain outside. So, get in there. Okay. Down in there. Get to the bottom. In here. Anywhere areas that you see anything. Then take your rim oil and flush it. Rim oil is nice because it'll just get shit in there, carbon, get it all out. I, yeah, I recommend really blasting it. See the shit dripping off of there? The stuff that drips off that gun like this is coming off black. Look at that. So it's cleaning that up. Get it real good. Get a shitload of it in there. The more you get, the better. I'll just crap in there. Okay, so it's really good. Nice lube on there. Okay, so you're looking good. Now you're ready to pretty much put the gun back together. Take your little piston, clean it off. Wipe off your, these are your recoil springs. And blast them a little bit more. Okay, take it, put your piston in there. Just like that. This goes in there. Tighten that. Hold this down like this. Go in there and then back. Okay, so like that. Make sure that it's seated. Take your barrel, lay it up, and you're pretty much set. Take uh, your whoop, take your underwear. Okay, and just take it, wipe it down real good. Wipe it down real good. You're giving it a bath in oil. And that's fine, I'm telling you, um, especially on the titanium models. You want to make sure you have a lot of oil in these guns because they do rust. Um, and it's like if you see in there, you can't see on here. But the plating is never perfect up in these these fins. And that was my pet, pet peeve with that company. But then everything else looks good. Um, so you want to make sure you've got enough oil on here. That will protect it and it will save your gun. Because this is somewhat still porous, don't forget it. It's plated, but it's not. It's still a porous gun. So, and this is pretty much, like I say, all set. If you look up in there, she's pretty clean. You could get in there and finish up just by uh, wiping a little. And I always recommend this super loop. I'm going to go buy another can tonight. I go out. And I just blast all that in there. Really good. Well, that's going to help you a lot. Okay. Pen is firing pen. And then just, you know, wipe it down a little. So, close it up. And you're going to be set for a while. It'll be in real good shape. It'll stay nice and clean. And I would even blast a little there. Because you don't any kind of oxidation in here on these guns. Because you don't need rust. That's the last thing you need. But other than that, there you go, that's the titanium uh, Desert Eagle. That's cleaned and done and ready for more fun.